Hi everyone, happy weekend to all. So today we are going to do another DIY project to organize my succulent plants. What we are doing now is reinforcing the main structure of my succulent pergola so it can hold the heaviness of the stackable pot planters that Matt and I trying to put it together. Yeah, that's a bit better. So what we're trying to do here, guys, we are trying to put this post so that it will support this main structure here, this top here. So when we put our um, pots, the tower pots, when it hangs there and there's soil, at least it can support the heaviness of the pots. Okay. This part of my garden, guys, is still a mess. It needs to be reorganized and that's what I'm doing now. So that is why I'm putting this DIY idea of Matthew. Um, put it over there and then I can plant some more uh, succulent that I have in the pots. And I can put them all together in that hanging, uh, hanging pots. So mainly... Uh, this idea of hanging it is Matthew's idea. Oh, sorry. So what are you doing now, hon? Starting. We're going to get a, a threaded shaft like this from Bunnings. We put a nut and a washer on the end. So, mm -hmm. so that's how it starts. That's the start. You get your pot. My pot is right behind you, but... We need to drill a hole yeah, first. That's right. So we've got to drill a hole. So you pull the pot out. As much, as many as you can, please. Yeah. So it will have a good drainage and my plant will not go into rot. That's the, <laughs> that's the good tip, guys. I put right. a lot of hole in the pot. Just get a hole here. Yep. because you've got a bowl that's going to flop around like that so what you need to do is you grab another washer and bolt and put it down here that takes ages <laughs> and that's more take ages too <laughs> right so we've got the the actual Washer and the nut on, and we've got it on the bottom. So then it's securing the pot, so the pot's not going to go anywhere. So now that's that's pot one on there, so that's all tight and ready to go. Yeah, that's tight. So we put some what you call washer. this one, washer, and then vault. Yeah. Just to make sure that the pot will not going to move. All right, so then we're gonna put the next washer on and next. So first, we put the you put your nut on because obviously you want the nut on first, and then you go all the way back down again. Bunnings we buy this here this is like a, a hanger or like a hook or a hanger and that just screws in on top of your um on top of your thread and these threads have got to be you might got to make them galvanized so they don't rust and then, as you see and you screw it down to how far you want okay. 
Oh, you, you see as that? If you want, you can put another on it so it doesn't unscrew, which I'll probably have to do later on. Yeah. But at the moment, that's fine. It's done. It's finished. Oh, good. So we can hang it somewhere here. <laughs> so that's done. Oh, thank you. That's so, lovely. So I have more um, room to plant all my other succulent plant. While Matthew finishing the rest of the stackable pot planters, I'm also going to prepare and clean the area where we are going to hang these hanging planters. This is what we call division of labor and teamwork. All right, so we're nearly finished, guys. We will. We are going to. Uh, <laughs> so we're nearly finished guys that will be the last one and then we will going to hang them in the spot where i have a room still so that will be the last and this is the finished product so this is the finished product guys so i have one two three and four so the parts are not all the same because these pots are sale from our local hardware store that's selling some pots and plants oh so God. i just get <laughs> so i just get what is available in there so this one got different uh shape of pots as well but they are all same color okay so this is uh, matthew's idea to hang it my idea is to, to put it on the ground, but I don't have room. So it will be like a, a tower, succulent tower. But then Matthew said, uh, just hang it. So that's why we will going to hang this one. Okay, so we just have this a piece in here that you just screw into the metal piece and then we get we got a hook and then we will just hook it on the top so hook that is top. very very easy easy project yeah. and and the rain is coming again the sky is dark so i'm planning to plant something in here but i don't think i have enough time now because the rain is already coming in so I might make another video, guys, um, planting some succulent in there. So I, since this pot, guys, is a bit big, um, we don't want a lot of soil putting in there. So to avoid some leaf rot or root rot, so we will put some styrofoam. At least the styrofoam is a bit lighter and our pot will not go into get too heavy now doing this guys doing this one this project we should use a plastic pot so it's not so heavy especially when you put some soil and plants they will get too heavy now i need to there. We just put that one before we will put our soil then we will put some styrofoam but i don't think i can plant something in here in this weekend because the rain is already coming and we will do this one next on the next weekend or next video So we're using this hook guys. Oh. This one. This part's still a bit heavy. This kind of pot, plastic pot. If you can get a more lighter one, I guess it's much better. Mm. 
That's better. Well, that's a bit better. Oh. There you can fill yeah. it up. All right, guys. So that's how it looks like for the meantime until we can plant something in these hanging pots. And there's the styrofoam, so you don't use too much soil. And these pots will not go in to get too heavy. And really, I like the result. Now I can put some more uh, plants in there that lying around in my garden um, and organize my plant. So I have some plant guys gathered from around my garden. So I will try this one out first, but this is not a final. Now I'm not going to take them off from the pots and plant it straight away in the pot because I don't have much time and the rain is fast approaching. So what I'll do, I'm just going to put this pot inside these big pots and see how it goes. And then on my next video, we will do it properly just to see what it looks like when there is a plant in these pots, in these DIY pots that we have. So here it is guys, so here's the look for now. Um, it's not bad after all, but I think it's better when we will plant them straight away. So for now, that's how it looks. Not bad after all, and I fit a lot of pot plants in there. So in this pot here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six plants that fit in there. And over here, I just try to hang this one and see how it goes. And same, I fit a lot of plants in that container. But I haven't put anything on top yet, guys. So I will figure it out later on what will I put on the top. So I think I will put something like just like this, you know, that will grow upwards than growing downwards because it will cover up those plant underneath. So see how it goes. I will still figure it out what sort of plant I can put in there. So yeah, not bad after all guys, but the final look, the final finish will be on my next video. But this is a nice, good idea, guys, if you're running out of space like me and you need to plant some of your succulents that you want to organize. This way, guys, you can organize them beautifully. So see how it goes on my next video, guys. And we will going to figure it out how we can display our succulent beautifully. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you get a good idea on this DIY project that we have. I also hope, guys, that you inspired with this project. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye, guys. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this weekend video. And if you are my viewers and not subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me if you do so. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell. So every time you have a new video and ideas like this, you will be notified and you will not miss a thing. And also, if you like our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a message in my comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So guys, I will see you next time. Bye!